I feel unsafe when I'm walking on my own in the dark. I know that's quite a generic thing for a lot of women, but it's true. Like, I'm quite small and I'm not weak, but I feel like I could easily be overpowered. Sometimes I feel unsafe in, unsafe in public spaces um, because of certain external forces. Walking down the streets in the middle of the night or, you know, I'll, I'll wear trainers now as opposed to wearing high heels and I don't want to carry a pair of shoes in my bag, all of these different things. Just, it's tiring. On public transport or like walking home when it's dark. Um, trains and trams and buses, people grabbing my bum, grabbing my boobs, constantly. I mean constantly, yeah. I think, I don't think I know a woman who hasn't experienced something like that. Lately I realised I don't find myself safe when I chat to boys that I don't know on social medias. That's where I don't feel safe. Every day in small choices about how we, the clothes we're going to wear, the path we're going to go, the time we want to go back, how many drinks we're going to have, if we're going to have a drink. I think it's not just the walking down a dark street at night. The danger is literally everywhere but on a daily basis. This is really seems to be something anodyne and um, we put it away, but it's deeply um, upsetting. You just, you walk away feeling like you've been mugged. There is a victim side to that, that we have to, you know, process and overcome until the next, next round. When people just think about like sexual assault or something like this, it's like, oh yeah, it, it happens somewhere, but it doesn't really happen to me or my friends. But then with time, uh, either you think about your own life something or you think about what your friends have told you and you're like, damn, it happened to everyone I know and yeah, this is, this is terrifying. It's trying to, to create boundaries all the time and say no, no to people. That is very, very important. Being a woman feels powerful and invigorating and beautiful uh, but it also feels painful for feels like we always have to remind ourselves how strong we are and sometimes feels like a battle it's hard <laughs> it's being powerful is having strength is understanding a little bit more is um... uh, difficult <laughs> it gets it doesn't get easier as you get on with age. I think at my age or where I am in life, I've stopped seeing being a woman as an advantage. We want to be recognized for what we are, not because we have a cute smile or whatever. I recognize that it's not, not an easy cloak to wear, but also it's the best thing to be. The main challenge is to feel like you always have to uh, step up for yourself and you always have to make so much effort just for people to listen to you and to take you seriously and to value your work and so you don't only have to do your work but you always have to do the work of stepping up and proving yourself and and men don't need to do that and often their work might not be as good as a woman's work I think women have so many different layers and a lot of women don't even know what's there until it's tested. I guess we made it like a fashionable and trendy word but resilience comes from a place of like pain and fight and you know pain should it be shouldn't be trendy. I had a great difficulty with this in the beginning, um, not so much with my body as my status in the world because it's almost much easier to be a man because you had greater freedom, you could go everywhere, you could undertake dangerous travels, uh, you know, I was hitchhiking a lot and you could go up to the, you know, Mongolian deserts and nothing happened to you as a man but as a woman it was more, dead, you know. Whenever I feel down nowadays I always feel like there is a bunch of women strong with different shape, different energy. They're all with me, guiding me. Sisters, mother, everyone is with me and we are not alone. I truly hope that um, women come into this world will kind of embrace that feeling of belonging that is so important.
femininity is a lot connected to the earth. When you think of a flower that blossoms every day, that's to me what it is to, to be a woman. I know it sounds incredibly cliche, but I recently just realized that movement is the only way I can release myself from the mind and myself. Especially when everything in life suddenly becomes overwhelming. Non existence. My existence. So much to say. In addition to meetings with child welfare and alcohol abuse at home, it was enough that I could not talk or trust anyone anymore. It's difficult to explain why at that time I didn't see the wonderful golden cage as a horrible prison eating me from inside. Then I came to a realization that it's never about looking physically strong, it's about feeling strong on the inside. I'm not deserving. I'm not worthy of love. When I was about I'm six years old, I got physically abused and I did lie. not tell anyone. I am at fault. Until I turned 12 years old. The seed I didn't is really say anything. All I did was to cry. Rejection. My body collapsed. My head lowered down, then my torso, and then tears started coming down. I finally released the tension inside my body and relaxed. When I was about 15 years old, my stepdad unexpectedly, purposely physically attacked my mother. 10 minutes later, there's blood. My body trembles as I roll myself together, arms around my knees, head down, and torso close to my thighs as I swing side to side. Every day is a battle for humans. Every day is a battle for a woman. We're constantly asked to be perfect and desirable. Our voice is always covered by the one to whom power belongs. Power over our body, our thoughts, our desires, I was abused when I was 13 years old, and again about 25. Our skills I have been myself in an abusive relationship. relationship. This is my voice, I kept which dragged me into my body, dark. my thoughts. I my feelings, I know what my it feels desires, like to be in that my beliefs, where my you feel sexuality, trouble, woman, confused, uh, my sensuality, my, 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 my skills, on, my work, my talent, my pride, about my love, uh, my legs, express my stomach, yes. my hand, yes. yeah. my uh, neck, so my face, my body, to communicate my body. I was It's difficult to explain. I just froze. My body. And not was filled I with have tension. so much I have to express my heart. and say, my own body and mind are craving to get out there. about what it is to be a woman is something that I've thought about my entire life. From the moment I was born, I wanted to be a man, and I thought I was a man. I thought men were having more fun. I thought that um, it was more exciting. Coming to puberty was absolutely devastating. It was the worst thing in a world to be trapped into having monthly periods and to be potentially a birth-making machine, and nothing that I possibly thought could be fun or exciting. However, now, being surrounded by men, having a husband and two sons, 
I am very happy to say that I'm not a man and that I don't want to be a man. We know how to keep going through it all. We're used to pain, we're used to suffering. As a dancer, I feel like I'm gonna have to sacrifice parts of my career if I want to have children because I'm not going to be given the space for my body to be there. It's a lot of energy, but then on the other hand, we're just powerful beasts, every single one of us. Like, there's no, there's no exception. <laughs> I'm a very positive woman. I would say energetic. Generous. I'm ambitious. <laughs> Headstrong. Empathetic. Restless. Powerful. I'm a creative woman. I'm a creator. I'm a beast. <laughs> <laughs>